Hey everyone. So people have been asking me how the tracked camera or the spectator camera works in the VR mocap project. And there's a lot of really great functionality built into this camera that helps you make cutscenes faster. So right now I'm using a Steam VR system. We've got a Vive tracker that's basically put vertically. So the light is actually on the very top, um, clamped to an Xbox controller. And so let's actually take a look at my scene so we can uh, get a sense of what, what we're doing. This weekend I shot some stuff for a 72 hour film competition, which unfortunately we didn't finish because uh, there's just too much work, too many assets for me to make. I kept running into some errors because uh, this is Unreal 5. Um, the necks were kind of getting messed up, um, as you can see. Uh, I fixed them on most of the characters, but anyways, um, we've got meta human heads on some character creator bodies and a very simple blocking in this scene. So over here, I've got the spectator camera. This is what you'll typically drag into your scene. And you'll notice that there is a live link transform option here. We don't have a live link field. But that's because it hasn't been populated yet. So we have to actually get the sources first. So I'm gonna go to live link sources. I don't have any controllers, but I just tend to click that on. And here you can see that's our Vive tracker. And now that we've put that in, we can select it. So I'm going to choose yet tracker controlled and always track camera. These should default to off, but uh, that'll basically live out. So when I press play, I'm getting control of the camera here. So there's one other thing we want to do uh, since we're going to be recording this camera into the sequence. If you didn't know, Take Recorder is really incredible. If you just click on this, you can directly record into a sequence. Um, but I find it's not good to record the actual spectator camera. You want to record something else. You want to just, uh, let me just close this down. You want to get a cine camera. Just going to drag this into the scene and you can actually apply the, the data, transform, FOV, all that stuff from the cine, uh, from the spectator camera to the cine camera here. I'm just going to select that and add this here. So again, we're going to be recording this camera actor we dragged into the scene, into this uh, cutscene that we just made. So I'm going to make sure that maybe I'll just turn off reduce keys. Um, and yeah, that's good for me. So I'm going to press play. And it's pretty good. We can actually make the frame rate a little bit better. I think it's called view mode unlit. Oops, it helps if you spell it right. View mode unlit. So we should get a little bit more frame rate, which will help with our capture. And uh, I want to make this window bigger so I can see it from across the room. That should be easier for you to see as well. Okay, and I'm clicking back into the viewport to make sure that I actually get the inputs on the controller. So how this is set up is the right trigger is basically elevate down, left trigger, elevate up, I can kind of rotate with the right thumbstick, and that's also my field of view. So I can get a little tighter of shot, go wider. I can also push in and uh, move around that way. So you got strafing kind of motion set up. You push in the stick, you move faster. Otherwise, you can kind of crawl along. But yeah, you'll notice I'm also getting my actual real world movement. So you can kind of combine the two. And unfortunately, this is a bit you know, jerky because there's not a lot of um, weight on this. We can actually, uh, if we wanted to, we can increase the smoothing. So let me just open up this again. Make sure we're selecting the spectator camera here. Under details, see tracker smoothing, it's at 20. I think the lower the number, I think because that's the way the smoothing works. Let's see. Yeah, so that's 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 a bit smoother, right? I want a bit of the handheld feel, so I might go to uh, 15. Just get some of those, a little bit of the micro jetter, but um, yeah, this is looking, uh, I think this is kind of what the settings I want. So I think this is a, a pretty good place for the first camera. So I'm just going to Press record.
<laughs> so you can see there's a bit of a hitch there where like the tracking kind of went, but uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. You get to just be kind of a cinematographer. Gonna go into the face here. Oh, what happened to her facial animation? That's weird. We'll have to fix that now. But anyways, that's an example of a take. Just gonna stop that now. And if I open up the sequence, there's our camera. And it creates a uh, Cinema Cuts track for us as well. It's going to press zero to make sure we get the full timeline. And there it is. There is the camera we just recorded. Yeah. I heard that Kevin is considering you for video. And my camera, I'm still recording over here. <laughs> there's, that, <laughs> there's that hitch I was talking about. But here, here's all of our keyframes. We've got focal length, transform. Um, <laughs> Maybe we could reduce keys so we don't get like some of these, but like the relative scale 3D, I don't think we need. <laughs> Looks like it's just garbage. But anyways, you don't even need to look at that stuff if you don't want. It's just kind of a, um, a subtrack. So yeah, that's how it works. Um, I think it's really fun to use. I can see it kind of camera floating around in the background. Um, the only thing that's kind of crappy about this setup is um, you have to be clicked into the viewport. So say if you're using the editor utility on the side, like you're, I don't know, calibrating actors and you're just doing a bunch of other stuff. If someone's using this simultaneously, like they're trying to frame up a shot, they will have, um, they can't get any inputs while you're clicked out of the viewport. Uh, I don't know if there's a way around that, but that'd be really cool um, if it always got the input from the controller. But I mean, it'll always get this and I'll always update um, as long as the game is running. So yeah, that was a quick look at the um, kind of camera options and I uh, hope they're useful to you. And um, yeah, take care and have a great day.